Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music and in this video we're going to get into setting up a template and putting the instruments in Cubase. So first thing I'll do is open from Cubase the DAW template for Cubase that's been provided by Orb Composer. So if you go to where you downloaded Orb Composer, you see the folder DAW templates. And if you click on that and click on Cubase, you basically have templates, three of them, one for artist, one for all, one for orchestral. So in the pro version, we have access to all of them. They will all be functional. So we'll go ahead and open the all. That'll include everything. And as it's reading in these empty tracks at this point, because no instrument has been loaded, you see we have a folder for keyboards, one for plucked, one for leads, synth, and this would be true on, in other DAWs as well that are supported. And also we have brass, woodwinds, and then strings as well as orchestral solos, orchestral percussion. So right now everything is empty when you first open it up. So we'll just go ahead and do the keyboards. So if you notice in Cubase, when I click on that, nothing has been no instrument has been loaded so what I'll do is go ahead and go down to contact so there's contact it's taking a little while because it's loading up contact and then I'll do the same for the second piano click right B lower it says orb one and then go ahead and load in the contact and this is cubase 9.5 as you can see so once i've done that i actually have two instruments two contact instruments loaded and i can select since these are piano i would go to my contact library and look for a piano. So we'll just grab the first one that shows up. There's emotional piano. So we'll go ahead and do um, piano jazz light. Okay, so that's loaded. It's actually still loading. Now you won't be able to play it because through your uh, keyboard at this point. And one of the reasons for that is it's going through the MIDI setup that was provided by Orb. However, it will work once we execute the orb program, the first, the piano one anyway. And for piano two, we would go through the same process. We could use a different piano if we wanted. Let's go ahead and use the same one since it's uh, readily available. We'll do emotional piano light. So now these are loaded in. <clears throat> now you can also, when I click here, I have a choice. I don't have to stay within contact. I can use any sample library that I have and buy in any engine that I have. So I could go to say Vienna Imperial, which is a piano by Vienna Symphonic Library. 
And I can go ahead and load that in. So now we actually have three pianos loaded. Now, if we go to Orb Composer, we have a choice of orchestral, strings, piano. Now the piano template happens to draw upon the piano template that we just looked at. So if I go ahead and apply that, I've loaded in three pianos in Cubase. So now we're all set to go. So if we say we throw in a theme and then we get a, let's say a question answer just with the default tempo key and so on and time signature. And then we click on piano one, it'll actually fill in the track. We can see here that it's an accompaniment track. And of course we can change that. Let's go ahead and change it to a melody track. Now, another thing before we move on, move on in this direction, is these will only play if they're set to record. So one way to do it is at the upper level in Cubase, just click on that. They'll all be set to record. So when we go back into Orb, and we play, we hear the melody. And we can go ahead and put in another track. We loaded in three pianos in the template. So we have a melody and we can, now we have an accompaniment. And in this track, let's go ahead and do a bass. And here we go. Okay, now getting back to the other possibilities. So that we loaded in three instruments into the keyboards. The template had actually four pianos. And it's got some celests and so on. We have plucked, which you can go through once you get the program, purchase the program, or try the demo. We have pads. And so that you would do the same process for each of the instruments that you want to include in your composition. You don't have to fill in the entire template if you are just working on, say, pianos or strings only. But let's take a look at the string template. Suppose we choose violins and open up that folder. So you have folders within folders. So there's a string folder which contains the violins, violas, cellos, and basses. So if we open up that, we see all the articulations that the program will work with. So we have um, quite a few articulations, close to a dozen, actually probably more than that. Here's, you can tell by the channel numbers, we actually have 14 articulations for violins, one that can be manipulated in the program. However, you have to use a sample library that would contain these articulations if you wanted everything to be ch to be available for the program to choose. So you could just do legato and then when it chooses an articulation other than, other than legato, then you could just go ahead and change the articulation within orb so it would only be legato if you're just starting out to get something up and running 
without putting in all, say, 14 articulations, because it is a fairly long process. So this video primarily was just showing how you had to set up your instruments in Cubase. So that will be, that'll conclude this video. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to, to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe uh, icon at the end of the video. So this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music signing off.